Skype BF is a gifted young artist who has grown himself a sizable fan base in just a little over a year of making music. Skype is best known for his music that draws influence from the genres of EDM, hyperpop, and dance music. Hopefully this video helps you learn a little more about him. Skype grew up in Huntington Beach, California and was a sporty kid. He played football and baseball for 11 years. Skype was good at these sports and he said his athletic past is surprising to a lot of people. Aside from playing these sports, he spent a lot of time with friends at the beach and went surfing quite often growing up. The first music Skype could remember really enjoying as a kid would be bands such as The Gorillas and The Strokes. As a kid, Skype would also be exposed to Skrillex by his older brother. Throughout middle school, Skype would go on to mostly enjoy music from artists such as Joji and Lil Peep. By the time junior year rolled around, Skype discovered the artist Oaf One and the electronic dance collective titled Rude Club. Listening to these artists is what inspired Skype to start making music himself. Skype stopped playing sports around this time and music quickly became his main hobby. Skype began recording himself on the music software FL Studio. He was able to receive a crack for the software from one of his older brother's friends. Skype learned how to use the software mostly through trial and error but would watch YouTube tutorials to learn more specific complicated techniques. The first song Skype would go on to release is a now private song titled Intentions on May 6th of 2022. Skype had a decent sized following on TikTok at the time and this would result in his first ever song receiving over a thousand plays on SoundCloud in its first week. After some time of making music in order to improve, Skype would find himself looking for new vocal presets that might fit his sound well. One day while doing this in a Discord, Skype noticed another member inquiring on how to sound like an artist known as Cyrus on the song titled In My Pocket. Skype fell in love with this new sound from Cyrus and knew he wanted to make music like this himself. Skype reached out to Cyrus to purchase his vocal preset but the artist would soon form a friendship and working relationship. In August of 2022, Skype would be featured on the song titled Wanna Be Your Drug by Cyrus. Skype said this is where he felt his career in music would really begin to start picking up. Skype would also go on to form a friendship and working relationship with the artist known as I Hate You Stress. Skype mentioned the song titled Roll the Dice with I Hate You Stress being a standout song for his career. Skype would find more friends slash collaborators in the scene in late 2022 when he would go on to join the collective titled Fab Fantasy founded by Cyrus and Barely Human. Barely Human is another important friend slash collaborator to Skype. Skype said him and Barely Human had followed each other for a while but never really talked much. However, this changed after the artist would go on to perform a show together. In November of 2022, Skype performed his first show in Los Angeles alongside Barely Human. Skype and Barely Human began to collaborate on music. The first song they collaborated on is the song titled Haunt Me and the song titled Turn It Up featuring Barely Human is currently Skype's biggest song. Since then, Skype has gone on to perform a handful of shows with Barely Human and Cyrus as well. When I interviewed Skype for the video, I asked him what his friends thought about his music. Skype said although his friends don't typically listen to the type of music he creates, he said they have all been supportive. Skype doesn't know anyone else from his area who listens to his type of music and thinks others probably just don't understand it. As far as music Skype is currently enjoying goes, he mentioned electronic acts such as Dead Mouse, Crystal Castles, and Searle. He also mentioned being a big fan of the band Tokyo Hotel. In the future, Skype hopes to evolve his music, grow his fanbase, and sign some sort of deal. He's also excited to see how much Fab Fantasy can grow in the upcoming years. He's a great young artist and I see him continuing to grow. Well that's all for this video, big shout out to Hopeless for the edit, and please subscribe for more mini documentaries on various underground artists.